nonsense, Jimmy One. We always have enough room for another space shuttle. Plus, this one's a premium series and comes with a space shuttle launch thingy. Hey everyone, and welcome to Groove Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and in this episode, we're going to be building our very first Metal Earth Kit of the Year, the Space Shuttle Launch Kit Premium Series. Now, what kind of things are we going to need to know to build this kit? Will it be like the other space shuttles we built before, or will this one have some tricky bits that we're not expecting? These are all great questions, Groovers, and we're going to get the answers! Let's get down to the workbench and take a look at our package. And boom! There we have it! All of our pages needed to build the Space Shuttle Launch Kit! Yes, there's quite a bit here, lots of parts, and tons of detail for us to shape. Don't worry though, we're going to be able to do this together. The first thing we're going to talk about is our Space Shuttle Orbiter, which we already know about because we've built something very similar like it before. Then we'll talk about our boosters, how to get them properly shaped and get those little tiny details in place. And finally, we'll talk about that big orange external tank and of course our base and how to get it all connected correctly. Groovers, building a rocket is notoriously hard and deciding what tools you'll need can be even harder. Luckily, we have a resident tool expert that knows all about rockets. Timothy? Why do you always have to interrupt me during my coffee experiments? The Metal Earth Premium Series Space Shuttle Launch Kit is a build that will have you testing your cylinder skills. While some of the bigger details aren't incredibly hard, some of the smaller ones will have you grappling everything in anger. The tools you will need for this build are... Nippers Tweezers Cylinder tools Dapping punches, and a Bender 1.0 tool! Now, leave me alone! Thanks, Timothy. Now, listen guys, we have a lot of space models to do here on the show, and we haven't even begun to scratch the surface, so chill out everyone, we got some cool stuff. Now, as always, these are just our suggestions, and you really don't need anything but nippers and tweezers to get the job done. But of course, having the right tools will make everything a lot easier for you, especially when it comes to forming those boosters. Okay, now we've looked at our tools and we've looked at our instructions. There's only one thing left for you to do, and that's to press that like and subscribe button. We're currently trying to get to 4,000 subscribers here on the show and really could use your help. Uh, no pressure at all though, just uh, anytime you like. Oh, it's that, uh, it's that big red button down there. We got some cool stuff. I would love to have you here. Just, 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 just press the button. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We do have some really neat projects coming up, and to have you here, well, that's pretty awesome. All right, let's get down to the workbench and get this thing built. The Metal Earth Premium Series Space Shuttle Launch Kit is the perfect model for the space fan in all of us. And with a little bit of experience under your belt, you might make light work of most of it. However, don't get too confident. This model does have some surprises. Let's get this build started with our orbiter. Now, right away, yes, things look a little bit different. And yes, we did live stream the whole thing. If you find that I missed something in this video, just go pop on over there or go ahead and ask the question down below. I do my best to get back to everybody. Now, our orbiter is very similar to the other shuttles that we have built here on the show, with the only real difference being the nameplates that we can now place onto it, and of course the little cuts here on the bottom allowing us to attach it to the actual fuel tanks. After forming our back with our dapping set and matching the front cockpit with all of our little edges, we get to the boosters in the back. These guys are bent similar in shape to flowers. We can start by taking our parts and bending each pedal, lining up the edges as we go. If you have a tool to shape these little pedals, even better! But if you don't, it's really important to make sure that we bend every part of our metal. This way we get a nice even shaping. Once we go all the way around, we can clean up a little bit, and I think that looks pretty good. Alright, let's move on to another part of our orbiter that needs a little bit more attention, the wings. 
Now the edges of our wing parts will need to be bent down eventually, and getting that done can be super tricky. I personally really like the 3D look, so I'm going to use my fondant tool here to pop out our wings and give me that 3D effect. This will also help me get those tabs on the edges of our wings in the proper places. Dragging the tool around, really making sure I get on the edge here, and there we go! Let's get some of these other details out of the way. Okay, we're looking really good! Now, let's move on to our boosters. If you were in the live stream, you know I had a time with these. It's not that getting that long cylindrical shape of our boosters is hard, it's those little bits of details that need to be bent exactly to get them in their proper space. If you were with me in the live stream, you know I had a bit of a time with these guys. It's not that getting the boosters built is incredibly hard, just getting that really nice long shape without any warps is a little bit difficult. But also, parts 26 and 27 make this whole thing surprisingly challenging. These little details are super skinny, and because they're not attached all the way up, it's super easy to warp them. This was my problem. You have to be very delicate here, and take your time to get everything done right. Concentrate? Concentrate? Frig! Frig! Shoot a monkey! Frig! And boom! All done. We can uh, fix this in, in post. One other thing I decided to do with our boosters is place a magnet in them. This way I can detach them later if I want to. Super cool, right? Lastly, let's talk about getting our cone shapes. For that, we need to talk about our external fuel tank. Just like our boosters before, this external tank needs to be formed into a tube. This time though, we have two parts that make our cylinder. We can take both of our parts and use the same tool here to get around the right shape. Then we can put them together and clean up that seam a little bit just like that. Now we need to make our infamous cone. You see these little guys? They look like ribs. They want to be cones. And all you have to do is give them a little help. Let's take our fondant tool and run it over our part with a little bit of pressure. See, just like that, we can get a nice shape with minimal cleanup. We repeat this a few more times, we should be good. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Now, let's talk about making that cone at the very top. For our cone, we can use a very similar method to the last couple of pieces with a little variance. I found that if I take my tab bending tool and hold it at one point and press it into my table and move it back and forth, I can get a really nice starting cone. Then I can go back over it and meet my edges with my tweezers. Look at that cone, super easy method. Now let's finish up the rest of these details and get this base connected.
there we have it. The Metal Earth Premium Series Space Shuttle Launch Kit in all of its glory. This build was a lot of fun to do, and being that it's our first one of the year, there was definitely some difficulties in trying to get some of the finer details. If you join me in our live stream, you know that I had a hard time trying to get these little side details on the boosters just right. It's not that they were ill-designed or anything, it's just that the skill level needed to complete them in the proper way uh, was just a little bit higher than what I was expecting. I was expecting this kit to be on the easier side, but what I found was that some of the details, especially near the top here, um, and again, some of the more finer details along the boosters were definitely a little bit more difficult than I was anticipating. Again, being that this was the first model of the year, I think I was kind of banging off some rust, but overall, I really do like how it came out. Talking real quickly about the space shuttle here, there really isn't anything new. If you've built some of the other space shuttles, then you pretty much know what to expect when it comes to this part of the build. I'm a really big fan of trying to pop out these wings as much as possible to get that really nice 3D effect, and I definitely think I achieved that here. Now, one other thing I did was make sure that everything could be magnetic, which is a great thing to do if you want to take this apart. One thing I will mention though is you can't put enough magnets inside of this model. I only put a couple in in my video and I really do wish I would have put a couple of more. Being that we are taking this apart and it's being held together by tabs which aren't secured, everything, while it is secure, it could be a lot more secure with better magnets. Overall, I would recommend this kit for anybody out there who's really interested in the space world. And if you've built other models, say plastic ones, and you're looking to jump into the metal model world, this one might be one for you. Just be aware that some of the details in it can be a little complicated, but with the right tools, I'm sure you can breeze right through it. All right, Groovers, and with that, we're at the end of our show. I had a really good time building the Metal Alert Premium Series Space Shuttle Launch Kit with you. And if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well, as we got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future. Want to build your own Space Shuttle Launch Kit? Check out GrooveBuilders.ca. We have all kinds of really awesome models on there at great prices with fast shipping to the United States and Canada. And until next time, Groove Builders, keep building. All right, GB1, I'm the first one to take this one up. I want to try these boosters out. <laughs>